hello everyone welcome to the tss so in the last classes we had completed the fourth stage of uh, data science project life cycle that is model building so after uh, building the appropriate model which satisfies your business requirement we need to evaluate the model performance friends okay so whether the builded model is uh, predicting uh, uh, accurately or not okay so in this stage of model evaluation we are going to evaluate the model performance let us see how we evaluate the things after building the model the performance of the model must be evaluated okay so if you uh, don't evaluate uh, your model then uh, if you if you without evaluation if you directly deploy uh, your model then so many problems will come so if uh, uh, a person uh, whose health is good and whose uh, uh, history is good health history is good and uh, if you fed the data to uh, uh, the model if the model comes up and say uh, that patient is having the disease of uh, uh, diabetes or sugar i mean sorry diabetes or uh, say cancer or uh, so many some medical terms <laughs> then uh, how much uh, trouble uh, we, we, that person will face <laughs> let's uh, imagine so it's very very dangerous that's why we need to uh, so not only uh, in the case of uh, medicine it will hold uh, true in all uh, walks of life that's uh, in the weather forecasting or uh, speech recognition <laughs> okay if uh, uh, if our cell phone will be unlocked by any other person's voice, then then what will happen? <laughs> uh, the person may theft the data from your cell phone or from your laptop, like that. Okay, if that uh, model doesn't recognize uh, the speech properly, the audio signal properly, uh, so these are all the things will happen. So that's why always. After building the model, we need to evaluate the performance of the model, whether it is recognizing my speech properly or not, whether it uh, is recognizing my fingerprint <laughs> properly or not. So this fingerprint, uh, voice recognition, face recognition, all these <clears throat> things, applications will make use of deep learning. Friends, at the back of behind the screens, so many neural networks, deep learning, uh, things are uh, executing friends okay if that models won't work uh, not uh, accurate then what will happen imagine so so many problems will come so that's why model evaluation is very very important stage in the data science project life cycle so in this stage the model performance will be tested and the accuracy of the predictions will be explored friends so the performance will be tested and the uh, predicted accuracy how much uh, accurately it predicts the things will be explored friends so which evaluation technique should we use will depend upon the type of builded model okay so we need to evaluate the model okay how we are going to evaluate the model that will depends upon the uh, model uh, which we builded earlier okay if uh, if we make if you made a linear regression model then its performance evaluation methods uh, are different because it is the output is continuous uh, variable uh, in it is continuous variable right and uh, if you build uh, the categorical variable uh, prediction kind of algorithms uh, like uh, logistic regression navy base knn okay like other uh, like algorithm that is called classification algorithms then for that models the evaluation uh, metrics are different so that will depend upon the evaluation techniques depend upon the builded model friends so if the accuracy of the evaluated model is poor then we need to retrain the model by making essential changes in the data or change the changing the algorithm friends okay so so some technique you used let us say suppose uh, say suppose uh, 
you build the linear regression model and if the accuracy of that linear regression model is poor so instead of uh, uh, predicting the temperature around say 35 degrees centigrade if it predicts like uh, say 10 degrees centigrade or 15 degrees centigrade or so instead of 35 degrees centigrade the difference is very very more how much difference to 15 to 35 20 okay so 20 degrees uh, difference uh, is uh, should not be there so you need to reduce that error of prediction so if uh, that kind of that much of difference uh, comes up in the prediction then the model accuracy is not good so what we have to do in those situations what we have to do is we need to retrain the model by making the essential changes in the data or we need to uh, handle this algorithm uh, in some other ways okay so for uh, classification kind of things also uh, this holds good whether uh, like that uh, earlier we had discussed this um, whether we uh, whether it's uh, it's going to rain tomorrow or not uh, if a model will have to predict that so so instead of uh, saying uh, yes if the if the model comes up and say no then uh, what will happen so much uh, problems will come and so much disasters will happen okay so uh, these are the uh, very important topics uh, that should be addressed friends okay so this is the uh, theory of model evaluation and uh, let us uh, uh, see the scope of tools we are going to use in this stage of model evolution so we will make use of the same scikit library uh, scikit learn library uh, which is an open source library for machine learning in python and uh, in this uh, scikit learn library there is a matrix from that matrix we are having so many evolution methods friends so for a linear regression model evolution if the if we are going to evaluate the output continuous variable then there are these methods friends these first four methods mae msc rmsc r squared error that means mean absolute error mean squared error root mean squared error r squared error these are the four parameters which we are we, are, we should uh, take them to consider okay in order to evaluate uh, the model whether it is performing well or not we need to uh, evaluate by executing uh, all these four evaluation techniques friends okay so one one uh, uh, method is having one one theory so uh, while discussing uh, the machine learning algorithms in some time in the future i will discuss the, the these things okay so at the end i am planning to uh, take one example and uh, drive that uh, example through all the stages of uh, data science project life cycle uh, so at that time i will discuss all this evolution technique friends and then confusion matrix classification report accuracy score precision recall and f1 score all these one two three four five six all these six uh, evolution uh, techniques are applicable for classification algorithms friends okay so that is a uh, navy base logistic regression kn and decision forest decision tree all those things for classification kind of things yes or no kind of things these are the reports okay so this is about model evaluation friends and in the next uh, class we will discuss the next stage called deployment stage okay so if the model is performing well then we are going to deploy if model is not performing well then you need to address those issues okay so till then Bye-bye. Your Svira signing off. Thank you for listening, friends.